Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm frozen, and thanks for joining me. I'm out here on one of my favorite hiking trails of Pennsylvania, the Laurel Highlands Hiking Trail. It's about a 70 mile end to end through hike from pretty much Johnstown into Ohio Pile. I uh, love this trail. It's one of my favorite trails, like I said. It just uh, brings me back to all the great memories of, you know, preparing for a full year and then being able to, you know, do 70 miles my first year of backpacking. This trip should be fairly nice weather. We've got about a low of 38, high of 63. <laughs> uh, no rain predicted in the forecast except for Saturday going into a high pile. And even then, I don't think it starts until about six. So pretty good weather. It's uh, Wednesday and about 8.20 in the morning. Man, I really enjoy this trail. I said it before. It's really great for like a beginner to come out here to attempt something, you know, a little longer than your average, uh, you know, 30 mile, 20 mile loop, something that you could do over a weekend, you know? I think uh, five days very comfortably here. I've done it in three, didn't really like that. Uh, but four seems to be the sweet spot uh, for me for completing this trail. That would be a uh, almost looked like a possum, but it didn't have like the signature face. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Definitely came out of a, a hole up in that tree right there. I don't know. I didn't get a good enough look at it. I was trying to turn on the camera. <laughs> Doing some ramen for lunch today. Um, it's noon, figured I'd stop. Not really hungry yet, but I'm gonna force myself to eat a little more on this trip since it's a little higher mileage. Um, we actually are eight and a half miles in already on our 14 mile day. So yeah, it's only noon, like I said. But uh, beautiful day. Uh, sun keeps going in and out behind the clouds, but it's nice. Probably in the uh, high 50s, low 60s at this point. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful out here, let me tell you. Mm, all right. I love having the mile markers on the trail. You know exactly, you know, how far in you are. So that's mile 58. It means we got one more mile on the trail and then we'll take a mile spur trail to get to Blue Blaze down to the Route 271 shelters. quick day 
about 2.30, uh, I stopped and chatted with uh, a mom and her son that were thinking about getting into backpacking again uh, for like 15 minutes or so. But uh, yeah, I'm the only one here, Route 271. I planned on this day being a little early just because, uh, you know, travel to the trail and everything. It's only about an hour and a half for me to get out here. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, at camp way earlier than I expected. I thought it might be like three or four o'clock, but nah. Um, was even trying to stay slow today too. But, ah, that's all right. We got three um, longish days starting tomorrow. So all good. Uh, every time I come here, I feel like I'm cheating it camping because you may have seen the uh the wood pile and now they got a uh, a bear hanger and there's shelters here there's restrooms there's toilet paper <laughs> there's all this stuff um water the water's here as well so i brought two fuel canisters on this trail this is all that walmart had one of these giant ones the rei shut down that was near me uh, so I can't get my little, my favorite little fuel canisters, but I've been using this since the Kohana Trail. I use it on Oil Creek and, I, you know, I'm just not familiar with my, uh, my stove yet to see how many boils I'm going to get out of one of these canisters. I think it's going to be better than the BRS, um, but I brought this one just in case. Um, I'll use these over the course of my years in backpacking. So I just hate when the bottom gets all rusty like this one. I've been using this one. This is like probably one from the AT, to be honest with you and it is uh, still going strong. Good first day, looking forward to tomorrow. It's gonna be great. All right guys, I'll check in with you tomorrow. Have a good one. Well, good morning, everybody. Day two. Uh, 32 degrees last night. A lot chillier than <laughs> what I had anticipated. I was thinking low of 38. Um, and I didn't sleep with my filter, and I really hope it's okay because it's got to be okay this trip. Um, anyway, I slept all right. Uh, pretty warm. So check this out. I learned this last night. I was always wondering, like, where do I put my my backpack now that it has a frame in it? You know, I want to keep it under the vestibule, but I don't want it to get in the way of everything, which is what it was doing last night. So I had this idea of leaning it up against my trekking pole that's holding up my tent and then fastening the buckles around it. So it kind of just, kind of just stays up by itself. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. It's probably something that, you know, all of you guys knew already, but, you know, I'm still figuring the tent thing out. But, uh, Anyway, I'm heating uh, water up. I'm going to pack up real quick. My hands are cold. I didn't bring any gloves, but uh, I definitely will bring gloves on the PCT. I don't know why I thought to uh, think that the weathermen were accurate today, but yeah. 32 last night. <laughs> All right. It's a chilly morning for sure. The wind's blowing through here, but I'm going to get packed up. <laughs> it's chilly out here today i really wish i would have brought gloves but uh my hoodie's got you see that my hoodie's got thumb holes so actually both hoodies have thumb holes so taking advantage of that this morning for sure and then if i get any colder man i'm gonna grab my extra pair of socks for my hands <laughs> um let's see what's today uh 18 miles or something today going to the turnpike shelters We'll uh, get a little overlook, maybe toward the later end of the day here. And then uh, apparently I got a couple uh, subscriber friends that are coming out uh, to meet me at the shelter and uh, hook me up with some pizza. That's cool. <laughs> Looking forward to meeting them. And it uh, should be a good day as long as it warms up. Absolutely freezing right now. But anyway, I'm going to get moving here. Woo! 
check the weather forecast it's about nine o'clock now and it's not warming up so the low was uh 29 last night maybe even colder but it was uh 30 in johnstown which is the nearest town to me but uh my 60 degree days are gone and have been replaced with 42 degree days so yeah it's gonna be a chilly chilly stretch wish i would have brought gloves so I'll definitely be wearing some socks tomorrow on my hands for sure <laughs> i don't know why i didn't bring gloves i'm just like an idiot i don't know whatever ah oh, sun <laughs> got some patches of blue sky actually a lot of blue sky now wow really cleared up here in about the past five minutes but uh sun feels good What's really annoying about this? I like it. I like the Garmin, uh, but every time I send a check-in message, it says there's a weak GPS signal. Meanwhile, we got clear blue skies. Like I don't know how much <laughs> how much more of a signal I could possibly get. You know, I don't know. Well, anyways, uh, interesting as this is to watch me eat a bagel in the middle of the woods. We got a hill to climb after that and then uh, we should be entering Forbes State Forest uh, shortly after lunch. Right, that's mile marker 40, and we're heading to 38. So I got two more miles left down to the Turnpike Shelters. It's like a quarter mile down past that, but the wind has been um, interesting today. It's been consistent all day. I was starting to sweat, and then it, the wind comes and cools me off, and then I take off the hoodie, and then I get cold, and I put it back on. And it just back and forth and back and forth. I finally gave up around lunchtime or so, and. <laughs> And I just left it off, so I'm just dealing with being chilled. And when I get chilled, I hike faster. And when I get warm, I hike slower. That's the kind of day it is today. So I have 100% decided that I'm going to take the um, the sleeping pad pump, that flex tail thing, uh, with me on the PCT because out of all the camp chores, you know, making food, hiking. Uh, setting up your tent, you know, packing up, getting ready, getting water, filtering, all that stuff. Uh, I hate blowing up the sleeping pad. Man, my subscribers are awesome. Thank you so much, Jeff and Leslie, for the pizza and the beer and the candy, even though I didn't take any. Um, also, thank you so much 
for as I get smoke in my eyes as the, the gloves. <laughs> it's going to make tomorrow so much more bearable. Uh, I planned on wearing socks and they wanted nothing of it. They were like, no, no, take these gloves, take these gloves. So, um, yeah, cool bunch of people. Thank you for meeting me. Thanks for coming out here uh, and hiking back in the dark. Man, so cool. Uh, a couple locals from the area. So, uh, tomorrow, we've got Seven Springs. Excited about that. And uh, 21 mile day into Route 653. All right, I'll see you in the next one.